Hello, everyone. In this video, I will share with everyone how to create healthy roots in the early stages. There are two main methods of creating healthy roots in the early stages. Firstly, use rooting aids. The second is, use the technique of squeezing water to create roots. This is a relatively difficult technique that requires you to monitor and check your plants daily so that we can make reasonable adjustments. Roots are chemotropic and hydrotropic. In conditions of lack of water, in order to survive, roots must grow strong, wide, and deep in the soil slash substrate to find water and nutrients. Based on this principle, we will take the following steps to conduct squeezing water to stimulate the roots. Step 1, after recovering after one day of planting, we will water with EC 1.5 with the same amount of watering solution from 0.7 to 0.9 liters slash plant. Then, 5 days after planting, we will check the root canal, if the roots are about 5 cm long, we will conduct the water tightening technique. Step 2. Increase the EC of the irrigation solution slowly over 2 days from 1.5 to 1.7 and 2.0, 2.5 and finally to 2.8. To 7 days after planting EC irrigation solution is 2.8 to 3.0 and the amount of irrigation solution is 1.0 to 1.2 liters slash plant. Then we will stop watering in the following days, the time to stop watering will depend on the weather in the area, the humidity in the substrate, and the reaction of the plants. The principle of squeezing water is that we let the water evaporate gradually from the top to the bottom of the bag, then the roots will tend to go down to find water and nutrients, the amount of EC for the last irrigation is high to store enough. Nutrients for plants during the time when watering is stopped. Step 3. When the humidity in the bag of growing medium is low, and the melon leaves begin to turn a little yellow due to lack of chlorophyll and slightly drooping. That is a sign for us to know we will start to water the nutrients back to normal. Symptoms of yellowing during this period are completely normal, when we rewater the nutrients after two days, the plants will recover and bloom very strongly because they have strong roots, have high stress tolerance, which will help us. Prevention of diseases related to the roots, especially wilting at the end of the crop. Finally, about 3 to 5 days after stopping watering we will water normally again with EC of 1.7 to 2.0 irrigation solution, and the amount of water for each period, make sure you only leave 10% of the water. Excess melons escape. Combined with the technique of squeezing water, we will add the necessary nutrients through the leaves to stimulate rooting. Types of phytohormones, the orientation of formation and development of organs in plants is determined by phytohormones. For roots, auxins and cytokinins play an important role. The high auxin-cytokinin ratio stimulates strong root induction and growth. In order for the roots to develop like that, first of all, it is necessary to provide enough nutritional elements in the form of easily absorbed plants in the soil. Nutrition, in the rooting stage, plants need a lot of nitrogen. Phosphorus, nitrogen, is a basic component of cells, in the early stages of plants need nitrogen to develop roots, stems, and shoots. Phosphorus, required for cell division, growth of meristems, and promotes the formation of roots and hairs. In addition, there are many factors affecting root development, soil aeration, soil pH, optimal 6.5 to 6.8, rhizosphere microorganisms, etc. Notes during the rooting stage for melons. You need to know the order of priority of nutrients from the photosynthesis of plants. 1. Mature seeds slash fruits. 2. Peak of growth. 3. Young fruit. 4. Flowers. 5. Roots. Roots are the last priority for nutrients, so root development in the early stages is very important. During the period from planting until the ninth female branch appears, you should prune all the flowers and side shoots until the ninth branch so that the plant can concentrate nutrients to nourish the roots, because if you leave too many unnecessary sides to shoot nutrients will be dispersed to those parts, making the nutrients entering the roots not optimal. 
Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like this video and don't forget to subscribe.